Day three. They say every journey begins with a single step, but I believe ours began over two years ago when we decided to attempt a through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Through years of preparation and training, we prepared ourselves for an adventure of a lifetime. This is our journey to Katahdin. need an extra, go for it. Nacho Jim up with breakfast, with coffee and hot chocolate, and bananas and everything else you can think of. Look at all this stuff. It's a whole charging. He's been amazing. <laughs> Awesome trail magic. We just left uh, the awesome trail magic again this morning. Thank you so much again, Nacho Jen. You're amazing. Gosh, she had everything you could possibly think of if you needed to resupply. Um, of course, the food that he was preparing for all of us, hot coffee and hot chocolate this morning. Just amazing. So thank you so much. Um, today, we're gonna have a pretty short day. We either have to do eight-ish miles or about 16. And although we could definitely do the 16 today, we're feeling great. I'm staying true to the word that I said, and we're going to do low miles for the first week. And so since this is only day three, we're gonna go ahead and go to the eight miles. And the reason why it's one or the other is because, <sighs> um, between here and Lance Creek restoration area, that's gonna be the last place we can camp unless you have a bear canister. There's a rule that between Gerard Gap and Neil Gap, if you do not have a bear canister, you cannot camp there between March 1st and June 1st, I believe. So we don't have a bear canister and yeah, we're not gonna break the rules. So. We will go to Lance Creek Restoration Area with probably all of our friends that we've made and camp there for the night. Have a short day. 
We got started a little bit later this morning. Um, although we packed up camp really quick. We did it in record time, 50 minutes. Woohoo! Good job, little bear. And so, um, but then there was a trail magic this morning. We just kind of hung out with everybody. We had another fire this morning, and so that was really nice. We're just really enjoying our time out here and making so many new friends. And uh, now we're walking up this hill. So we'll catch you guys a little bit later. Yep, you got it. This is a big step. It's about 50 degrees in the most pleasant hiking weather. Taking a quick break. We're about 0.5 from Ram Rock Mountain. What do you think so far? Um, I don't like the mountain that we just climbed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was pretty easy, but you had thought it was a little bit hard? Yes. Yeah. I feel really good this morning. I've had coffee, I had a banana, I had some dried apples and strawberries. So I feel pretty, pretty good. Maybe we need to get some more food in you. Here, have a Snickers. You're really have satisfied. Look at this view. So we met a few friends that are following us. What are your names? I'm Scully. Hi, Scully. I'm slow mo. In slow mo. How are your hikes going so far? We're having a good time. Having a blast. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's beautiful weather out here, isn't it? Something else. I know. Think it's day four for us because we took a day off. Oh, well, that's good. Because we love taking the day off. Hey, it's all <laughs> about smiles over miles. Remember, we were talking about that in the videos. <laughs> My favorite's when we get to take a day off. I know. We're looking forward to ours Yay. coming up soon. <laughs> well, it's so good to run into you guys. We'll see you up trail. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> We're about half a mile from Woody Gap. Look how beautiful this is. Little tiny waterfall. We're about down into Woody Gap and we were just told there's trail magic again. Oh my goodness, this would be two days in a row to have trail magic twice in a day. Unbelievable the kindness of strangers. We'll see, we'll show you when we get down there. But there's also a privy, which Little Bear and I are as equally as excited about. <sighs> we'll see y'all down there. Thank you. Oh, 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 you're so precious. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, I'm surprised they come up that hill as easy as they did. It was the French fries. That trail magic French fries. The power of French fries is so strong. It is. Such beautiful. Beautiful sights on Preacher's Rock.
Edge Runner Chelsea, who just told us that the campsite we're planning to get to, the one right before the bear canister requirement area of Gerard Gap, is pretty much full. So, she mentioned there's a couple campsites about 0.4 past that, and then about two and a half miles past that, there's a few more. So, we're kind of moving with the purpose now and um, just trying to get somewhere to set up camp for the night. We still have to stop and get water because we will need some more to cook tonight for our food. But, you know what? Never have set plans. This is how we roll with the punches. We'll adapt and overcome, figure out what works for us, and it'll all be fine. Because you know what? It always works out one way or the other. Just not always what you plan. But your plans aren't always the best either. <laughs> so we will catch back up with you guys because I'm not going to film as much anymore for the next few miles so I can go a faster pace. We're heading about three and a half miles an hour right now. And we're cooking. See y'all soon. So Little Bear and I just took a pet stop and got water, filtered water at a stream that's about a mile from the Lance Restoration Area, Lance Creek. We were hearing that there could be norovirus in there also. I have no idea. So I figured I would just go ahead and get water now, which was not normally something that we would do because now I'm carrying an extra 4.4 pounds um, when there's like three water sources ahead. But again, trying to make the wisest decisions and that just felt wise to me. So we're good to go. No idea where we're gonna camp tonight, but we'll let you know when we get there. Well, we were lucky enough to get a camp spot at the Lance Creek that we were shooting for, so we didn't have to walk any further than we had planned today. So thank you, God. And now Little Bear is going to hang our bear bags because we're done eating for tonight. <laughs> nice job. There you go. Wow, you're strong because those bags are still pretty heavy. <clears throat> Good job. I did too. I still have two full days, and then we have a resupply box with four days tomorrow at Neil Gap. So we're going to be leaving a lot. We're going to be very picky and leave a lot in the hiker box. Hiker box exactly. Yep. Sorry, I'm in your way. That's okay. I'm, so, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm so proud of you for remembering. Daddy will be proud of you too because he's the one who taught you how to do it, huh? Yeah. And there's our bag. Good job. Hi guys, so we're sitting here at camp with some new friends. Everybody tell me who you are and what you're doing. I'm Eddie, I'm here with uh, my daughter, Anna. I'm Anna. Hi Anna. <laughs> we're, I'm through hiking, he's just tagging along for a little bit. New support. Awesome, yeah. most awesome dad support. award of the year. Yeah, I'm Mercedes, I'm also through hiking. And uh, I said my support had to leave a little early, but they'll be back later. Oh, good. <laughs> and then we have... I'm Dave. Dave. I'm on sabbatical for six months, and I'm going to enjoy myself. Awesome. Are you through hiking? I am. Awesome. Good. Okay, so what has been, I'll kind of go back and forth, the best part so far? For me, meeting mm -hmm. so many people, I thought at first it was going to take a long time to meet people and get, like, settled in. Yeah. But now, like, I just, I talk to everybody. We're like I besties. See. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, anyone, they do. It is so encouraging when the hike is tough. Yes, it is. What about you, Mercedes? What's your favorite part? I mean, I'm with her. I mean, it's, I met a couple of good girls the first day, just mm -hmm. hiking, running into them, and then camp that night. Uh, pretty much all of us met at camp, and... I mean, it's pretty much just stuck together, meeting everybody at camp every night. It's been a big blessing. It's been fun. Yeah. Dave, what about you? What's yeah, been your people, favorite part? People, <laughs> and the, the trail's been wonderful, too. It's been gorgeous. It's been easy so far. Perfect weather. Yeah. Right? Okay. Little Bear, what's yeah. been your favorite part so far? Um, people. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's no lie. I mean, everyone's probably like, oh, they're copying each other. Honest to God, it's been the greatest yeah. part. Okay, what about the hardest part so far? Um, I think knowing that we're so, like, early in the game, if you're having a tough moment, like I was having a tough moment last night, it was, like, blisters and other various mild, minor injuries. Mm -hmm. I think knowing that you have to, like, re-sustain your, like, mental fortitude every day it's kind of tough, but also, yeah. usually I'm like, I got to go to sleep, and then I wake up the next day, and I feel better. Yeah, it's like begin again. And it's people okay. people are there to encourage you. Yeah. What about you? Um, well, I quit two times the first three miles. I love this. <laughs> but, you know, I'm like, I knew ahead of time, just mapping everything out, that this was going to be a tough day, because mm -hmm. we are going up almost 2,000 feet the very first climb. The approach trail's no joke. No, not yep, at all. It's very, it can be difficult. And I'm like, you know, for you have to set milestones, so for me, that's been a big thing, is make it through today, mm -hmm. and then make it through tonight, or the day two, night two, was hard because of the cold, mm -hmm. and yeah. I, I told myself ahead of time, make it through those two nights, and yeah. then from that point, it's the first two weeks, just because... I mean, the first two weeks are the hardest out here to get adjusted, looking yeah. at the right mend and figuring it out. Get used to the, so. the new normal, right? Yeah. That's great advice. What about you? What's been the hardest thing for you so far? Um, operating my fingers at 22 degrees. Mm, <laughs> no <laughs> lie. That morning was cold. It builds character, so I'm, <laughs> it does. I'm looking forward to more suffering and more character. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> we got to be all a little bit crazy to do this. Expect little bear. suffering, hope, wait for the hope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it'll get better. <laughs> Tomorrow will be a better day. What's been your hardest part so far? Sassafras. Sassafras? You think you flew up that mountain? It was still hard. Wow. Yeah, she flew up it, and I was like, hold on, wait for me. All right, well, this is day three for us. What about you guys? Four for us. Day four. four yeah. Day four, okay. And I think you all did the approach trail, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, and we, we started at Springer. So, okay, well, here's to us, and we'll see y'all all at Katahdin. Yeah, see you. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> So today, day three, 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 right? We started out at Gooch Gap and we ended up at Lance Creek Restoration Area. Yeah. I think it was a total of about seven miles. So pretty easy day, mm -hmm. right? Um, we started the morning out with another surprise. Nacho Jim was still there this morning and yeah. so I was just about to make my coffee. He comes over and he says, hey, if anybody wants any coffee or hot chocolate, I'm starting it up now. So we got hot chocolate and coffee this There's morning. also a fire this morning, which was very nice. Yes, our, uh, the people that we camped with last night, Ronnie, Grit, and Scott. I think there was another guy, I just don't know his name or remember his name, but um, they had a fire going this morning, so yeah. that was really, really cool. Scott, it's Scott. Scott got the fire? Okay, yeah. yeah, that was really nice. Really nice. Um, speaking of Scott, will you grab that pendant that he gave you so we can talk about him a little bit? Yeah. That was yesterday, but we didn't mention it. Well, my finger's a little dirty, but hold on. Fine. So Hold on. So oh. Scott is um, a thru-hiker. He attempted to thru-hike a couple of years ago and had some pretty significant injuries, so he's back this year to give it a go. Yeah. And he's also, I don't really know what the official title is but he works with glass um yeah. an artistic like glass blower and he gave little bear something very very special you want to go ahead and show try to get it to um Can we... look at this you guys it's how beautiful it's a charm yeah and i'm going to get some like wait i don't know but some sort of string to like make a necklace yeah and he said, I normally don't give these out, but he thought Little Bear was very special and he wanted her to have one. But I wish I had a way to show you some of the other art he does. Some of the most beautiful artistic pieces of art that I've ever seen out of glass. So thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, we really appreciate you. We've loved hiking with you and um, you're just a joy to be around. So thank you so much. Okay, so then we got the trail magic from Nacho Jim. Which and is then, very nice. Yeah, two times, right? He yeah, twice. Twice. Last night, or, yeah, last night and then this morning. Yes. And then we hiked on. Um, pretty decent climbs today. Yeah. I think you had a little bit of a harder day because you were just... I was a little bit nauseous during, like, the middle of the day. Yeah. But then 
I had some ginger and now I feel a lot better. Yeah, we have, I brought some crystallized ginger that we got from, shout out to Mrs. Mango's at home. It's awesome. Natural it remedy good. store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so we took it slow today. We got some beautiful views on Ram Rock that you guys have seen and Preacher's Rock. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And actually before Preacher's Rock, we got Trail Magic number um, two. That would be three. Well, two for today. Oh, yeah. Right? So we got Trail Magic this morning from Nacho Gym. And then we had Trail Magic again today at Woody Gap. Yeah. Tell them about that. I can't remember what we had. What was it? French fries. Oh, yeah, the French mm. fries. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'm trying to pick right now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they were so good. They were fresh cut fries. And then they had chili to go on top. Oh, and... Yes. Um, cheese and uh, what's it called? Scallion Chick onions, Chick Fil A sauce. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful spread. I'm not even really yeah. sure who it was. We talked to the lady, but I'm not sure who it was. But thank you so much for being so kind and wonderful. It was delicious. It was you, fresh cut too. Yeah, you had two plates of fries, and I had a very big one. So <laughs> yeah, it was very, very good. So needless to say, um, I haven't eaten a whole lot of the food that I brought. Yeah which means my bag is still pretty heavy, um, but we've been blessed abundantly with so much food and it's been great. It's been really, really great. So thank you to everyone who has blessed all of us out here, just bringing joy to our day. And listen, trail magic isn't a necessity. We certainly yeah. have plenty of food and plenty of provisions to you know, do this on our own. And so does everybody else out here with us. But there's just something about the joy it brings to be around other people. And it brings them joy to talk to us and for us to just share our experience so far. So thank you for that. Thank you. Um, and then, so we met Ridge Runner Chelsea and we've been hearing about the norovirus kind of spreading a little bit in this bubble. And so the last place to camp was, or is, Lance Creek Restoration Area pretty much before the Bear Canister Area mm -hmm. requirement starts and so that was our plan. It was going to be right about seven miles and when we met Chelsea on Ram Rock, yeah, was, no Preacher's Rock, she said that she had just been over here where we are now and that um, it was full, that there was no more room <laughs> and we might be able to go another point four, or we might be able to go another three points three miles past yeah. this and so um little bear was still kind of dealing with some nauseousness i think you ate too many fries and just kicked it in high gear um but, let's get those worth it <laughs> yeah so little bear said that she had she had prayed that we would have a spot at this campsite and halfway through we were booking it we were going about three and a half miles an hour because there were so many people in front of us and so many people behind us mm -hmm. that you know we were just trying to get a spot and out of the blue, you said, oh, why don't you tell him what you told me? I said, well, well, God just told me we're going to have a perfect spot. And we got here and there was one spot left and it's the yeah. perfect spot. So yeah. <laughs> thank you, God, for always providing, <laughs> thank you. you know, exactly what we need. And we just couldn't be more grateful for that. So yeah. it's not the trail that provides. That's what everybody says. But it's really God is providing through the trail and through the trail people. Yeah. So we got to hear about 3.30ish, somewhere yeah. around there, really early. Was, and we just talked to everybody and... Relaxed. Yeah, <laughs> relaxed and just taking it super easy. Our bodies are feeling good. There's Ellie. <laughs> Our bodies are feeling good. Everything is feeling good. Um, and we're just so super grateful to be out here. Yeah. All right. It's been a wonderful couple of days. Yeah. We're just we're just so, so grateful to be here. Mm -hmm. So let's do um, on a scale of one through ten the difficulty we felt for today. Well, because I was nauseous, I would give it like a five. Okay. I would give it about a four. I felt great today. No nauseousness, no, no anything. And um, the terrain really wasn't that difficult. There was some difficult ups, don't get me wrong. Like yeah. we, Preach, we going up to Peachtree Rock, that was hard. Yeah, that was that was difficult, but um, I don't know. I would still give it about, what did you give it? A five. Yeah, I would give it a four, maybe three and a half even. Um, let's see, what was your highlight of the day? I got to take a nice poop in the Praveen. <laughs> Dang. Oh, keeping wait. it real, y'all. We're keeping it real. Oh, and, my goodness. And trail magic. 
Oh, and the what he had left. Frogs? I mean, how much did he get? Yeah. That was, I really hope when we get back that like, we can stop by Walmart and get like one of those potato slicers. Mm -hmm. And do our own fresh fries at home. French yeah. fries. Let's see, what was my highlight of the day? Um, honestly, my highlight of the day was your faith. Like, you know, I kept trying to... Oh, you said faith. I thought you said faith. Oh, I love your faith too. <laughs> but your faith because you aren't worried. You're like, God told me it's going to be fine. And I was like, okay, well, I mean, I believe. He didn't tell me that. So <laughs> I'm glad he talked to you. Um, so that was my highlight of the day. And then what is the low part of the day? Low part? Um... When we got to the campsite, that was when I was my most nauseous, and I was just laying down, like, <laughs> yeah. and the sun was, like, coming down, and was laying on rocks, so that was nice. But I didn't really want to, like, lay it down, lay down, because, like, when I stretched out, like, the water before you throw up comes in your comes yeah, in my mouth. Yeah, you just get really nauseous. The nauseousness gets worse. Yeah, way worse. That was your low part. The low part of my day... It's hard to say that anything was low today, um, but I guess it was when Chelsea told us that we might potentially have to go three miles further than we had planned, and I know she wasn't feeling great. Um, you know, it's it's a part of being in the bubble, yeah. and it's just a part of being in the bubble. There's so many people out here in front of us, behind us, walking with us, which is such a blessing and so wonderful, but it does make finding a spot to camp a little bit difficult. I. I still think it's worth it, mm -hmm. but that was kind of a, a tiny bit stressful. And, you know, as with all things, it worked out just fine. All right. Oh, uh, good note. We got ready this morning. We broke down camp in 50 minutes. That's a record time for us ever. Five zero. <laughs> Five zero, yes. So that's super cool. Um, what else? Um... I think that's probably it. We've been talking for about 10 minutes. But yeah. They're probably tired it, of hearing us. It was a nice day. <laughs> it was a great day. So we are headed into Neil Gap tomorrow, and we're going to look at um, taking our first Nero, and then probably another a zero. So a half a day off tomorrow and a full day off the next day. Yeah. Because we're taking it slow, we're listening to our bodies, and we're just acclimating. So we will see you guys in the morning on day four. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and love and light to you all.